Matlock who's returned. Is that Mary? I think it is. Here are some beautiful British Class A eggs. Class A makes it sound like a drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm so addicted to eggs. I wanted to show you these because in places like America and stuff, you guys uh, bleach your eggs as part of the cleaning process. Whereas here, they don't. The eggs in this country tend to look like this, but they're very, very tanned. And I thought like, well, that might be weird depending on where you live. So I thought I'd show you them. And the Got the British lion quality. That's something you look for. In yeah, eggs. that's true. In this country, lions lay eggs too. <laughs> the lions don't <laughs> lay the eggs. Every time is a good time for a fried egg. I love eggs. Oh god, it smells amazing. Oh my god. Well, I didn't do one last week, did I? It's time <laughs> for a stick of prompt. I got in trouble with Steph because she was like, Where's my sticker prompt? I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you guys know, Steph's sticker prompt book, full of custom sticker prompts made by Steph herself. A real we treat. It is. And we flick to a random page and we draw whatever inspires us by the stickers that are on the page. I'm gonna grab them all together. I like to cover them up for it to be a surprise. So I'm gonna try and go towards the back here. Oh, oh my God, it's um, Steph's OC. That's Honey Flakes. That's a cereal fan. Yeah, gosh. Like a comic on Amazon if you have <laughs> Is this a prompter? Is this a self promo? <laughs> what is, what's going on here? <laughs> I guess what I should do is uh, draw, uh, like maybe my interpretation of Steph's character. I can get some free fan yes. art out of this. Oh my god! <laughs> I genuinely didn't think Steph would sneak any of her own stickers in, and I'm glad that she has, because I do like Steph's so cute design. I love the big pointy ears that she's done as well. You guys know with my OC Una, I tend to have ears that stick out sideways, whereas Steph has drawn honey over here with quite upturned ones, and I do think that's quite quite cute. I feel like horizontal ones are more elfy, whereas the ones that stick up, they're, they're more like fairy and pixie-like, aren't they? Which suits the aesthetic that she was going for wonderfully. She kind of gives me a vibe that's like Steph, but if she lived in Spain or somewhere... <laughs> <laughs> you know, somewhere... Oh, my dad, you did use them yes! Like oh my god, Jerry did! Malaga. <laughs> Malaga, yeah, he lived in Malaga. Obviously, if Steph had caught like the sun or something, I think Steph could uh, pull off some honey, some honey cosplay maybe. I also need to draw, as you guys see, honey's got quite the uh, iconic nose. We love big noses, so we can start doing the face fur. You know, I always go to instinctively do a smile. And one of the things that I love about honey in Steph's character is that she's always got a straight face or she's frowning. <laughs> I don't know, grumpy characters are just fun to draw. She's got it up on her phone there. There she, there she is in all of her grumpy might. Isn't that such a cool design? I love that. Steph's so good at character designs. It's not fair. Like, um, I wish I was really good at, like, uh, character designs. Well, you've got Una. Well, I guess I could learn from the... I'm drawing them smiling again. It's like my default. <laughs> Honey does not smile. She has some, like, quite gorgeous eyebrows that are very angry like like oh i'm cross and i'm full i'm full of bees i also really like her long eyelashes that she's given her i think that's cool and i love like honey's hair is like honey like how it's all droopy and drippy i've always really liked that so that could be fun to give a go it looks like she has like a central sort of parting like this and it's like all you know kind of like gooey yeah, kind of like this. She's also got that like honey beehive, like honeycomb thing. Have you ever drawn the honey and purple? No, I don't think I have. Which is why, I, it's why when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, have I drawn this before? And uh, I don't think I ever have. You know, I know I said it wouldn't rub out on these, but because it's like Steph's character, I kind of want to do a good job of this. <laughs> Oh, oh, and she's got like the bits that are tied up as well, isn't she? Like her droopy bits. So we we'll do like the back of the head here. And uh, if we, tell you what, if we do like her neck coming down here like this, and I can, this can be like her shoulder, just so I know where to put like the, uh, the gooey sort of pigtails almost. Is that is that what they are? Are they pigtails then? Mm -hmm. Pigtails. So I'm gonna do one here and it's like kind of, Drippy and droopy. I am really trying to rack my brain and think. 
if I have drawn, but I don't think I've drawn any of your serial fairy OCs before, and that's I a shame. I drew a fan art of Bona before. You did, and I put it, um, I featured it, didn't I? In your webcomic, I think. I did, yeah. Once Dogs With Jobs proof comes and I approve it, Una's the next thing that I'm going to be working on, so I hope you guys look forward to that as well. I have already got some Una stuff done, which will mean hopefully you don't have to wait very long for it, but I really... It's fun getting people excited for book... Well, in general, it's fun to get people excited and stuff you're working on, isn't it? But mm -hmm. I do find that, you know, books, you know, like when you get like a physical thing that you've been working on that you can finally like give to people. I don't know, it's, not, it's nice that you guys can have like a tangible thing. She's got those traditional, like, big old fairy wings that can come over here. You can do, like, the indication of the other one back there. What what kind of things does Honey say, Hun? What, 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 what's her personality like? You don't have to read the webcomic. You don't have to sell it to me. You live with me. <laughs> I have an idea as to what she could potentially say. I'll, I'll add it in in a second. The thing that I would like her to say... Now, uh, you guys you guys will probably be aware of this, won't you? You guys have heard of spoon theory, where people uh, struggle to get daily tasks and things done, and they say that they don't have enough spoons for it. Like me. Yeah, like Steph, because she has a similar thing. So I think a good catchphrase for Honey would be, when she just doesn't want to deal with you, she says, I don't have the spoons for you. <laughs> because she's a cereal fairy, does that oh. make sense? <laughs> Oh, what if we do U, R, N with a period? <gasps> That's how you know they're serious, right? For when, you right now. Yeah, for you right now, yeah. That's scary, I tell you. I've told Steph this before. She sends me text messages sometimes that have periods at the end, like full stops. And that's so intimidating. That's probably one of the most intimidating things you can text someone. Because when people start whipping out like proper like punctuation and stuff, it's like, oh my God, they're, they're either really good at English or they're really angry. And it always tends to be the second one. Okay, so stick a prompt. And I want to know how Steph thinks I did. I think um, you did a good job. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. I don't have the spoons for you right now. I hope I did a good job. Whenever it's someone's like OC or like something that someone's made, it's like, oh my god, or, you know, you want to do them proud and you want to do a good job. So, I hope I've done a good job, dear. I hope I got like the angry energy. Honey, I wanted to have a word with you. That There seems to be some kind of new diorama going on with my train. <laughs> I improved it. Is this some kind of micro? And look, the fugglers like <laughs> looming over them. <laughs> Is this some kind of train role play you haven't told me about? Yeah, your train's about to blow up. Because oh. Of the oh, God, no! <laughs> You're all wrapped up for a very good reason, aren't you, my dear? It's a very rainy day outside. And it's and so cold! We just had a bath, and we have got Yeah, there's some something. Mail. Now, I have an inkling as to what might be in here because of what your current new obsession is, <laughs> but I will leave you guys in suspense. Oh, of course. <laughs> What colours did you get anyway? Because um, I think there's one there's that's not coming. Two that we're waiting on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not coming today, I should say. Ooh, resealable bags. I love resealable bags. I'm going to be keeping them. Well, we love ones. contraband baggies. This one was listed as peach. Yeah, peach. Yeah, that does look like a, a skin tone almost. This one says emerald. Green. That's really nice, that and one. This one is whale blue. So this opens up the realm of things that I can make. <laughs> you could do Sonic the Hedgehog hiding in the grass. Oh my gosh, I've got so many things to... Share. Guys, you ain't ready for all this stuff, I swear to God. Let me think of like what to... Sometimes she'll make numerous things in a day. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so back when I was making Ooh. this guy, Oh, um, the pudding, yeah. yeah! When I was making the icing for the top of him. Hello, pudding. I initially made this with the wrong hook size, and it was too small, really, to... Oh, fit so in. this was the original top. Yeah, so yeah. I've, I've got this piece that's sat around. It's also <laughs> practicing a bunch of shapes, so we've got... Ooh. Like, a little folded oh. clover that I made. May I hold it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's a little clover. Oh, that's lovely. Red heart. Oh, that's wonderful! This one's meant to be a yellow star. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I can see that, and yeah. It's like pinching into shape. No, no, it works. And oh my god, look at these! This one's a pink flower. 
Oh, they look like little uh, cereal charms. Yeah, they make me think of like Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, these, yeah. Oh, they're adorable. Look how small they are and as well. For now, I've been keeping them on like on this little plate because it looks kind of like a little ball. Oh my god, in. yeah. I didn't realize crochet could go so small. I know if you have like really big yarn, you can make like really thick, massive things. But yeah, I didn't realize it went the other way. Smaller as well. Did this micro crochet where people use like thread? Oh like, god, like, no. I was showing you guys. Yes. Um, I had like a, a half update last week on how my pizza was doing. Oh yes. And this has come Ooh. along much further since. Oh. oh my god, it's got toppings and everything. Look at that. Oh, it's a thick boy too. Look. Oh. And that's not a pattern or anything. I was just yeah. Figuring things that's out so with impressive. That. Like Steph hasn't followed like a pattern or anything for this. It's something that she's just straight up made herself, which I think so like impressive. Like it's so magic that you can like. <laughs> magic. No, it is like. Because, like, it's like a 3D thing, tangible thing that you've made from your, like, brain, your imagination, yeah. you know? I think that's so cool. From that, I wanted to Look try a different technique at doing a pizza, and it came out entirely wrong, and it looks like a small pair of underpants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah, it even has a waistband. Look at <laughs> that. Oh, my God. Pizza pants. That could, that, it, it could take off. have no idea what I'm going to use that piece for, but... What do you mean? It's pants. These are just part of my spare parts of yeah. things that I've made that might come in useful one day. It's just currently aren't pants. useful. Beautiful. I'm going to put these in this box for you. So then I came back for round three. Okay. And I made another pizza slice. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, wow. You can really... Let me just grab this one. And again. I used the pom-pom on his nose yeah. for that one. Like, I don't know about you guys, but side by side... I... You can tell that the one on the left is like an improvement like you've learned. Uh, me personally, you can really see the quality and like, I don't know the words, like the stitching or I, I don't know, but this, this one just looks- like Chicago town style. He's a big thick boy. A little chunky. But it, it's gorgeous and I love his little face and I love how the face that you've done maintains like the style that you draw, you know, like with the round noses and the faces <laughs> and stuff. You can tell it's something that you've done and I think that's really awesome. And I was working on something last night. Oh my god! I know, I've been working on a lot of stuff. You're a busy girl! <laughs> I made a piece of like toast. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! You've even managed to do like the shape of the bread. It was so hard doing like the. This like outline, the crust. Yeah, I spent a long time trying to figure out how you do that. And, like, that looks so changing good. Changing colours is like a confusing process. No, look at out. that! That's amazing! And then some other things that I made have kind of came in handy. Oh. So I did this test square like way back when I was first learning of like a bunch of different stitches. So I've got like a treble, double, oh, wow, yeah. uh, half treble, and then single crochet at the bottom. Ooh. But it looks kind of like a cheese square or like a butter oh, slice. Oh, like a big slab of butter. Yeah, that works really well. And I also made this that I forgot to show you guys back when I was practicing for the icing on my Oh, um, on those ones, pudding. yeah. I ended up making a fried egg, and you can put that oh, on the toast. Oh my god! Egg on toast! That's perfect! Oh my god, and it fits so well. I know, and it, it wasn't supposed to. Yeah, but now she's made like all of these in this box, all of these in her hands. We're, go we're gonna need like an entire like new shelf just to put your crochet <laughs> things on, because you've she's so fast at making them. I'm always I'm like... so addicted to making it. But it's adorable! But real talk though, I wanted to learn how to crochet back when I was about like 19. Oh. And I thought to myself, I don't think I'd be able to learn that technique because oh. I've, I'd always grown up drawing, but I wasn't a yarn child, if you feel me. <laughs> I felt like I'd missed <laughs> the the opportunity to figure oh, out Oh, no how to way. Do that. No, 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 no. Not at all. So, and I hope you guys have took inspiration as well, because Steph's been doing this for like a month and a week now, from absolute like zero, knowing nothing, to like actually like creating stuff. I hope it inspires you. Stop. I'm yeah. to it. <laughs> Like, this is proof that, like, if you just spend a little bit of time putting it into something new, you might actually create something that you're quite proud of. Because I know Steph's proud of these, and it's really nice to see. And I've been saying I might feel tempted to uh, convert the Steph of Socks channel, which I haven't used for, like, a year or two now. Because that mm. was, like, a place to just sort of pop whatever. Yes. I'm thinking I might turn that into a crochet channel. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, my God. It, de it depends, like, how obsessed I get with, like, crochet. I would say you're pretty dang obsessed at the moment. I know, but I have phases like this sometimes, <laughs> and then it sort of peters out and Ooh. it comes back, like, once a year. It okay. depends how, how strong we're going with it. <laughs> Ooh, well, watch this space, guys. I'm getting ready. 
to uh, go out to see my friend right now. Very anxious. I don't like letting her loose by herself. <laughs> letting me loose. Well, let's say by yourself. You're gonna be with someone, so. And apparently I'm going to an art gallery today, so I might take like some footage of that to show Ooh, you guys. That'd be fun, yeah. And I might also get a, a margarita pizza. Whoa. At Weatherspoons. <laughs> Hi art friends, so today Steph's gone to see a friend. They've been collected to go to a city that's a few towns over. Now, <laughs> normally I'm a little bit anxious as it is letting Steph go because like I'm her carer and uh, you know, I like to make sure she's okay and taken care of. Steph's on a train right now and she's just texted me saying there is a man on the tracks and they've had to stop the train so this is my brand spanking new anxiety vlog. She's stuck on a train somewhere with someone stood on the tracks and I don't know what to do. She says that she's fine, which is good, but it doesn't help because I'm not there, so I can't do anything. And I'm just like, oh my God. She's reassured she's more calm than me, to be honest with you right now. So uh, I guess watch this space. Um, I just hope that she's okay, you know? I miss her already. I wish she was here instead. And is led to believe to be running away from something potentially, so obviously they are a vulnerable person now. All lines are currently blocked, obviously as we do have overhead electric wires which do also have to be switched off. And all trains can't pass through the area as the person could potentially run out in front of the train. So our driver has just gone to talk to the person, see if we can talk them to come on the train and then release the line block. Once again apologies for the delay but no trains are able to march for the area until the person is removed from the railway. Once again, I do apologise for the delay to your journey. This was again due to the trespass on the line to the left of us, which are now being walked back to the station, and we're being safe hands, and then we'll get on our way. Okay, so good news, she's there. She's met up with, like her friends. Everything's fine, basically. <laughs> Can you tell that I was a little bit worried? Everything's fine, so I can relax for a little bit. And uh, maybe, I don't know what Steph's doing today. She might um, film some stuff. I don't know. Um, if she does, I shall put it in the vlog as well. But um, I just wanted to update you to let you know that she's okay. And I can finally breathe. <laughs> and because she's had such a stressful day, I decided to uh, make Steph, well, I say make Steph, I decided to get Steph a little present. I hope she likes it. Uh, a big hint is that it's <laughs> related to her current super interests, so you can probably guess what's inside it. But I wrapped it myself, and I've tried to make it look cute with like a little bow and some string. 